I rise like the sun sometimes, but then I fall. Like a black moon, I rise when the night calls. When the night falls, the mic calls. So listen, it's the ultraviolet ways to keep me rising on the mission. What up, all my exceed the hype beast? Welcome back. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you never know when your team breakdown is gonna drop. All right, what up, hype beast? You already know who it is, man. Checking in on the Houston Rockets versus the Dallas Mavericks game, we saw the possible outcoming out party of one of the future stars in the NBA. Luka Doncic was not having that great of a game in this particular matchup versus the Rockets. James Harden was trash talking him. James Harden was trying to give it to him the whole game. Um, Chris Paul too. Everybody was just kind of going at Luka, kind of like trying to haze the little rookie or whatever on the court. But the rookie came out with the big victory ultimately in the most dramatic fashion. As you can see there uh, with the little lob, James Harden and um, James Harden had it going, but the problem is um, the Rockets look really bad this year. They look really, really bad at some time, at some points. Even in this game, when I was watching this game last night, they looked bad. They turned the ball over countless times for for two, you know, of the quote unquote best guards or best point guards or whatever you want to call James Harden in a league. There was a lot of turnovers. There was a lot of careless plays. There was a lot of stuff that you wouldn't expect to see from a team that just came off of a near finals run. All right, so now we're in the fourth quarter. 96-92, James Harden scores that point. At one point I thought in the fourth that Dallas was done. Um, the Rockets had went on a little run and I didn't feel like Dallas had it in them to withstand that little run. So now you see it was 102 to 102, 94, and uh, Doncic hits that corner, three-pointer, very, very nice shot. And then off the dribble, he steps back on Clint Capella, right in Clint Capella's eyeballs, right in his eye sockets. He nails that one from about two, three feet behind the three-point line. He hits himself like, finally, I got one to go. Then um, he takes P.J. Tucker. And oh, man, he took him all the way to the basket, hit a little floater over him. Uh, he made P.J. Tucker his victim in this game. And P.J. Tucker is a very good defender. Look. Peter Tucker slapping the ground and everything, trying to get into it. The, he gets the switch with Clint Capella. He gives him that little jab step to the basket, step, big step back behind the three-point line and lights the Rockets up. And this ultimately was the game winner. A very vicious, very cold blood, a very vicious move and a cold-blooded shot. They get Eric Gordon on the last play. He tries to pass it out to Nene, gets it back, shoots the three, misses. And Luca was about to throw it into the crowd, and then he realized, nope, I'm keeping this as a keepsake. Very, very, very cool moment for Luka Doncic. Um, he is definitely going to build on this victory and build on this, this late performance, especially after not having a great game. And also, when you look at it, he is not new to this. He has been a pro for a while. Even though he's a very young man, he has been a pro basketball player for a while. Just because it's the NBA doesn't change the whole game. All right, so Luka Doncic was the hero in a, le a personal 11-0 run to bury the Rockets. Let me know what you guys think about Luka Doncic and this latest performance down below in the comment section. And I'll see you next time.